The Negro Ego Part 2 Warning The Negro Ego is for black men only Welcome to the Mr. Limba channel This is your host and your brother Mr. Limba This is the Negro Ego series being continued you guys already know in this series, I will hurt feelings. So, I hope you're not sensitive because I will get into the ego of the Negro. Because our people hate the truth. But I'm going to give it to you anyway. So, go ahead and kick your feet up. Grab something cold to drink. It is time for us to talk. The black man failed to protect the black woman. Is this the cause of the black woman disrespecting us? Is this causing her to not trust us? That's what I'm hearing on the web. On all social media platforms. The black women have a hard time trusting in the black man. He can't protect them. The black man failed to protect the black woman during the time of slavery from rape. From being sold. He failed to protect the black children. He is the only man on the planet that ever failed his women, his children, his nation, and his people. That is what I am hearing. Negro Ego Part 2. I'm going to call BS. And of course, you know by BS, I mean bad science. From my understanding... Every nation of men on the planet, as you guys call it today, race of men, race, the social construct of men, have failed at one point or another to protect their women. Sometimes from their own so-called race of men, and sometimes from other races of men. Sometimes from other countries, from other nations of men. But I don't see their women using that as a pretext, as a crutch, as a reason, as a premise to the conclusion that they should disrespect their men. I don't see them using this as a way to not work together with their men. The Japanese invaded China. And I mean, they did some raping of Chinese women. They had them strapped down like a crucifix on the floor. in a line of soldiers, 100 to 300 men, would go through one girl until she died from getting deed down. And their men had to watch. Their sons had to watch. The fathers had to watch. But I don't see Chinese women... Saying to Chinese men that you are weak, scrawny, little failures that let the Japanese treat us like this. The British invaded many nations and caused many atrocities. But I don't see the Indian women. I don't see the Chinese women. I don't see any of these women telling their men, because you failed to protect us. We will not respect you. We will not trust you. Because you're not the dominating race of men on the planet, we will not respect you or work with you. We don't see this. Only the black man is blamed and treated as if he never even tried to fight. A fight, by the way, that most of, well, all of us black men, we weren't alive for. This is their great, 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 great grandmother. That was failed to be protected. Entirely. Not that we didn't fight. But let's take Jamaica. You see Jamaica up here. Right? Respect to those men. These Jamaican men are brothers. Warriors. Not soldiers. Don't disrespect them like that. They are warriors. They had the most uprisings documented during the time of slavery. They fought. They fought. These men lost their lives fighting to protect themselves, their women, and their children, and their families against imperial forces. 
so did African American men. But Jamaicans had the most uprisings out of everybody. The black man didn't try to fight. He just laid down and let them rape and kill and, 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 and completely destroy his people. I don't think so. This have happened before in history to other groups of people. But only we are hearing this. Let's take the Haitians as you see the footage on your screen. The Haitian men fought. From 1791 to 1803, really solidified the battle in 1804. 13 freaking years, man. You know what it's like to fight a war over a decade against three imperial forces. The greatest navy at the time, the British, they, the Haitians fought against. The greatest army at the time, Napoleon's army, the French. And one of the strongest monarchs at the time, the Spaniards. Yet the Haitians were victorious. The Haitians helped freed most of South America called the Grand Columbia by sending guns, muskets, soldiers, cannonballs to help them fight in today's northern South America. Fought for the Dominican Republic though that history got distorted and lost throughout the years. Fought to protect and were victorious. Them and their maroons out in the jungle just fighting. But yet Jamaican and Haitian women are still being disrespectful to their men. What's the reason now? What's the excuse now? Now mind you, the Jamaican and the Haitian women are usually better women than the, than the usual African American woman. They're usually better at treating their men. But we're still seeing this disrespect. We're seeing it creep. Is it something in female nature that just, to, that just hate to see weakness in men? When you're not doing well, when you're doing poorly, when you're losing your money, your job, she just gets to disrespect you. Women just cannot respect men in a position of weakness. Since the black man at this current moment is still struggling, is still fighting for his rights, his woman do not un does not understand that she should stand by her man. Help him while he fights. Cook for him while he fights. Give him a peace of mind so he may think of war strategies. He doesn't get that though. She gives him the neck movement, the eye roll, the snapping of the finger, the throwing the food at him, the digging her nail in him, the spitting on him, the smacking him, the, the getting loud with him in front of everyone in any grocery store, church, mosque, movie theater, anywhere. And she says, this is the way I express myself. That's not an attitude. It's you who's insecure. She always have mouth in what to tell her man. How to treat her man disrespectfully. She always has an excuse, a reason. What is she seeking now? How is she seeking the black man's protection by sending him to jail? Giving him over to the Ku Klux Klan, which is the sheriff department. The Grand Wizard which is the police department, by getting him arrested, by getting him shot. How is she seeking protection for the black family by taking the kids away and putting them at the mercy of the white supremacy system? For all the brothers in the manosphere who keep beating on this subject, what is the black man seeking, what is the black woman seeking, excuse me, answer that. What is she seeking by completely destroying her man? She's not looking to build with her man, to construct with her man. She's looking to destroy her man. What men need to understand, women only understand men when they are in the position of power. It is the only time they respect the man. When the man behaves like Donald Trump, when the man don't give two flying pancakes, when the man takes the liberty of grabbing her by that kitty, what is the black woman truly trying to accomplish? That is what I really would like to know. 
even the ones where the men were successful at protecting them, our fellow Haitian brothers, when the men fought more than any other men, like Jamaica, but yet they look for every opportunity. The minute they become westernized, the minute they come across white feminism, they turn around and destroy their men. You lay in her bosom as a man and she devours you. The black man failed to protect the black woman. Therefore, she cannot trust him. Therefore, she doesn't respect him. Is that it? Is this the subject we are really discussing here, people? Right? Some say, well, the black man feel the need to measure arms with the black woman because he can't measure arms with the white man. And brothers applaud this when sisters say this, trying to be intellectual. I'm calling BS. My red pill too strong. That's shaming tactics. There's nothing but shaming language. We're not trying to measure arms with the black woman. We're telling her to submit, to respect her men, especially the ones who want to take care of their kids. Now, don't get me wrong. There are dysfunctional black men out here. But you got a lot of brothers who are not just educated lames. These brothers are educated, but they're not lames. They're smart. They're decent looking brothers. They hit the gym. They make money. Right? But these women still get rid of them. They want to raise their children, but these women won't let them see their kids. They won't let them teach their sons how to be boys. They're going to get in, in, her, in, in that guy's face because he took his own son to get a haircut. You see that picture there? This Foster and the first of Haiti. Some more history. Some more black history. All right? The first black monarchy in the Western Hemisphere. In the Americas. After we freed our women, yes, those are our brothers, so it's our women too. Different language, got scattered in different places. We still one big family, right? We put crowns back on their head. Look at that. That's a real portrait. We stood like kings because that's what we are. Fine linen, silk. Look how she's dressed. Look how he's dressed. Look at them crowns. That's real crowns. Look at that staff. We restored them. But yet they still spit on us. How are they looking for our protection? We did the best we could. Most men fail their women and their children at some point. Well, you thought we enjoyed seeing other men rape our women? You think we have some kind of cuckold fantasy? Come on, man. You brothers buying this? Speak to me, man. Get in the comment section. Talk to me. What's good? Share something with me. The black man failed to protect the black woman. Therefore, <laughs> she can't respect him. Therefore, she don't trust him. Is that right? First of all, she wasn't even alive. Now, I understand slavery carries psychological damages and problems that were passed down throughout the generations. I get that. But she wasn't a slave. Neither were you. Why can't she work with you knowing very well what our people go through? How my sons and her sons and our sons still get shot down in the street like dogs. Mistreated. She can't see the bigger picture? Really? She's stuck on, oh, her great, great, great times 50,000 great grandmother was raped was abused, was sold, was beaten by white men? And how does she fix this? How does she reconcile this? By going and producing children for white men. But she can't trust the black man who was not even alive during that time. That's a real crown, by the way, sitting in the museum in Haiti of the king, well, the emperor I just showed you, Emperor Faustin I. And I'm sure his wife's crown is somewhere. Real footage right there. We restored them, man. We fought. Yeah, we lost some. We still fighting. But all women don't really want our protection. They don't. We go out here and we, we, we tell them, baby girl, somebody disrespecting you. Hold on, sister, I got this fight. She's still yapping. 
When a man say he got this fight, the woman's supposed to hush, remain in silent, look like she's in submission. She is now under protection of the masculine, the black masculine. But she can't do that. She's still talking. You got to pull her back. That's if she don't cuss you out and tell you I don't need your help. Like those men who are protesting that weave shop. See, those guys don't understand. That chick probably got punched for a very good reason. I don't condone violence, just saying. Y'all need to think about this, brothers. The Negro ego, the black man, failed to protect the black woman.